<laughs> Looks exciting, but the real action was at uh, Wrigley Field. Man, oh man, it was rock and roll out there tonight. We think Dan Rohn is standing by live with a report on the Cubs and Andre Dawson, who tonight absolutely went rogue. Dan, what's going on? Pretty interesting out here. If Roy wanted to have some fun, he should have been at Wrigley Field tonight. Uh, very smoothly played baseball game for most of the night. The Cubs had a lead over the Cincinnati Reds out here at Wrigley Field. Then all of a sudden, uh, Mount St. Dawson went off in the bottom of the seventh inning. Cubs went on to win the game by a final score of 8-5, to five, but those numbers will be long forgotten before this Andre Dawson bat-tossing incident is forgotten. Let's go to the videotape and show you what happened in the bottom of the seventh inning. Andre was at the plate. Okay. Whoop, the that's the wrong tape. Fellas, here it is. Joe West out. called him out. Joe may have not been having one of his better nights behind the plate. Some other players are arguing, too. Andre and Joe into it a little bit after the call third strike. You know they don't take much, those home plate umpires. And a little bump by Andre after the ejection, too. That's going to cost him certainly a fine and maybe a suspension, too. He was still hot. Then Jim Essien came out. He proceeded to get tossed out of the game. But the show was only beginning. In the dugout, Andre still yelling at Joe West. And he spies that bat Whoa, rack, and here they come. That. I tell you, if bat tossing were an Olympic event, Andre Dawson would be number one in the country at it. There they come again. Hey, third time's a charm, right? Joe West uh, seemingly amused at all that. Hey, one more time for good measure. So three times the bats come out before Andre Dawson went into the locker room. And then when the bats came out, so did the paper cups and the beer and the pop and everything else out of the bleachers. Took a while to get the field cleared off and the game resumed. Uh, but when it did, some more action. Check this out. Squeeze bunt. Wilkins scores. Rob Dibble threw the ball right at Doug DeCenzo's legs in frustration. Dibble's not screwed on tight anyway. He was immediately ejected by Joe West, so he's tossed out of the game, too. I talked to West after the game. West seemed to be more perturbed about the Dibble incident than he did the Dawson or Essien thing. But uh, that's what happened out here tonight. Three guys ejected. Andre Dawson and Jim Essien on the Cubs side, and then Reds relief pitcher Rob Dibble. I was in the Cubs clubhouse after the game was over, talked to Andre Dawson about it. He'd cooled down considerably and actually had a smile on his face when he talked about what happened out here tonight. We were going back and forth. Uh, I'm not going to repeat any of it, uh, obviously. But uh, I just didn't think that uh, he showed professionalism. I think, uh, you know, he uh, gave the signal for me to leave the ball game a little bit prematurely. Andre, is that the most upset you've ever been in during the course of a baseball game? Probably the Eric Shaw incident. <laughs> that stayed with me a little bit longer, but no, uh, you know, it, I laugh at it now. Uh, we won the ball game, so that's what's important. What do you think the follow-up's going to be? I don't know. I'm not even <laughs> concerned about it. Uh, I know I'll be fine for uh, yeah, you know, being tossed out of the game. And, uh, the incident with the bats uh, just, you know, lost it a little bit. I was still a little bit perturbed because uh, he got that little smirk on his face and, you know, uh, I didn't show him up in any way. And I just felt that, uh, you know, he uh, could have bared down a little bit more than the circumstances. And when you run somebody out of the game and you smile at him, smile at him, you know, uh, that can set him off real easy. And said Andre Dawson, off it did. There'll be much more on this tomorrow, I'm sure. The umpires will send their report into the league office, and the league office people will take a look at the videotape, and they'll decide what punishments will come down, not only in the Andre Dawson incident there and Jim Essien as well, but Rob Dibble throwing the baseball intentionally at the legs of Doug DeCenzo as he ran down to first base after laying down the squeeze bunt. So wild night at Wrigley Field, but the game was won by the Cubs, and the final score was 8-5. The Reds have now lost 12.